So the other day on my Twitch live stream, one of my viewers donated a ton of bits to me to help fix his account. Midstream, like there's a clip of me spilling it, and it literally has just been inconsistent okay, ever I since, and I love it. But can but I yeah. do an account review? This is my first stream, and I kind of waited for this day for about three months. <laughs> What the fuck, Agro? Shocked by how much he donated, I decided to give him a chance and see what I had to work with. How do I use Twitch? Am, I giving, I, <laughs> Am I giving you Stop. money? Stop. Now, as you may be able to guess from the title and thumbnail, this account wasn't just a normal Genshin account. It was an absolute whale with many C6 characters and an insane amount of five-star weapons. For a whale account? Like, oh, okay, well. And so because of that, seeing such a stacked account struggle to clear the abyss and really need help to progress in the game, I knew that I had to step in and make this account as good as it could be. Okay, we are now in a viewer's account. I don't know what the fuck this is. I literally don't know. This could be a whale. This could be free to play. This could be life. This could be death. Let me just shoot with the weapon. If I see a non favonius Okay. <laughs> I know. What we already know. Let's we'll start with the inventory. Oh, okay. This is... Oh, dude. We're in for a fucking wild ride today. R5 Aqua. R5 Jade. R5 Engulfing. And then a bunch of, like, other, like, R3 or R1 weapons. Holy shit. Okay, this is... This is an account. R4 Donut? No. No, there's no way I missed that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Agron, I really would like to apologize for your loss. The reason you know he didn't want this weapon is because it's still level 50. Especially when you realize that her actual unique signature best in slot weapon is actually uh, a free-to-play catalyst. Agron, before I continue, I'm sorry if I roast you. It is mostly for the content, but I will also give you good advice. So don't worry, I got you. Why is there a... That's Goro! Wait! Why does Goro have... Anyways, let's check what this account has in store. Character-wise, Yuri Yulan, first of all, very low HP. Low HP, usually want like 30, 32k at least. But you can get a lot more by just leveling her to 90. So definitely do that. Four emblem, good. Okay. Huh? Okay, no. It, it's not every piece is a winner. That's fine. Something pretty cool you can do with Yulan is you can run an HP circlet over a crit one if you have better substats. Crit and HP are pretty similar in strength. If you have like an HP circlet that has good substats, which you honestly might, then you can run that over a crit circlet if it helps balance your ratio and stuff. Especially because you're running a high crit weapon like Aqua and have pretty low HP, right? So HP circlet could actually be better for you. Uh, this is not bad. That's not that bad. It's a good start. It's a good start for a whale account. Like, oh, okay, well, it's a good start. And you have like an R5 aqua if you choose to refine it that's a, a good start you know good start let's look at your um wait what's your constellation i forgot to check constellations <laughs> this changes everything holy someone call m dash c6 eula strongly c2 eula c0 shao hey Hey, I, this is a Zog here. This guy, I love you. I like you. See, the last whale I reviewed had like C6 every waifu, and then you click on Chao. What? Ganyu? C3? Okay. Aika C6? Holy. Holy wait! To be fair, C2 Raiden is basically already a C6 character, but you went all the way. I, I mean, sure. Bennett C5? Based. Deluxe C6, obviously. Venti C0. Jean C6. Do you have every standard C6? Wait. Chi Chi as well. Holy fuck. What about Kaching? Wait, ha, huh? ha, huh? what, <laughs> what, how is your Kaching C0? Okay, I will say uh, one thing. The true test of am I a whale is not just the five-star characters, right? But is do they have C6, Kaya, Lisa, and or Amber? So we're going to click on Kaya. Okay, yeah, this is Giga Whale. This is actually Giga Whale. Yeah, yeah, literally all three of them. Holy shit, you have so many C6s. Okay, C6, R5 Chow, Shirley, God Artifacts, Crowned Normal Attacks, Giga Chad. Okay, wait, <laughs> wait, no, it's a start, it's a start, chat, it's a start, it's a start. Let me look, let me look, one at a time. So, first of all, oh, I said crown normal attacks. I meant to say skill. Now I look like I'm bad. Definitely crown your skill. Like, skill on Shao C6 is super, super, super important. At C0, C1, whatever, normal Shao, you want to level, what the, f you want to level your normal attack first, your plunge. If you're C6, you want to max your E as high as you can, it's super important. Okay, what are your artifacts? Flower, that's pretty good. On Vermilion, too, yeah, that's really good. That's good, too. That is kind of... <laughs> Goblet, that's good. 
Wait, how is this an off piece? Here's the thing, chat. Let's say running a four piece or two two pieces. You have four pieces that are on set and one that is offset. In no world is this circlet good enough to be in, of the maiden's beloved piece, which means always offset. Maybe you're just really unlucky. Like, that's fine. It happens. Some people are just not like, whoa, wait, why is this on your C0 Eula when you have a C6 Shao? Okay, dude, your Shao literally gains like 10 inches of height if you give them this piece. They have Jade. Yeah, I mean, I guess you want a crit rate circlet. Uh, I mean, crit damage over crit rate. That's fair. But still. Wait, no. Whoa, whoa. Never mind. Wait. Yeah, this is so much better. This is so much better. This shot actually looks good now. I think you can just go based on substats, man. And it looks like you're farming the new set. You could go for like two Echoes, two Vermilion, two Reminiscence, two Glad, or two Vermilion if you have two good Vermilion. But you don't need to force it. Like this right here, the substats here are kind of terrible. For now, I would recommend going on substats and probably doing two Vermilion. And eventually, if you do keep farming the set, you can go for the four piece. But this is fine. Like this shot is pretty decent. Uh, it's a good start. Eula... Okay, why does this- wait. Oh, I definitely fucked your Eula. Okay, my bad. This is actually my bad. This is actually my bad. This is actually my bad. <laughs> wait, that's not- like, that's not terrible. That's, like, good. You have R3 wolves. Do you have enough ER? No. If you're running wolves Eula, by the way, you can run an ER sans. You don't need to, like, attack is still better than ER, don't get me wrong. But if you have literally no ER in your substats, yeah, you don't need the whole 150. Like, oftentimes you might need 130, 140-ish. Because right now you just don't have enough ER. So you could do that or go for better ER substats. However, I'm definitely giving this to Shao for now because Shao deserves it. Okay, uh, let's look at your other characters. Shang Ling, Opa, Skyward Spot. Dude, I respect this. Giga Chad, Giga Whale, but still using Shang Ling. You're running four emblem with, it looks like, I was gonna say good substats. Okay, we don't talk about this. Everything else is pretty... What is this? Okay, no, it's fine. I'm sure your ratios... Okay, uh, if you're running Bennett, you probably don't need this much ER. If you're running Kutau, you do. Uh, I wish I could give you better advice, though. I don't really know what to say. Kind of just like a get better substats, L bozo moment. Okay, first of all, before I keep going, like 90% of your weapons aren't level 90. That is like the biggest thing for most characters because it's a guaranteed upgrade and it's more base attack and it's like crit rate or crit damage or whatever. So it's way more important to level your weapons and your talents than to farm artifacts. Okay, uh, Ganyu... Whoa! Wait, why is your normal attack level 4? Do you use her? She's friendship 8! How is she friendship 8? How is your friendship level higher than your talent level? There's definitely a huge DPS increase from a level 1 Frost Lake arrow and a level 10 Frost Lake arrow, or Bloom at least. So you definitely want to level this. Like, 4 Wanderers, Charge Shot Ganyu does insane amounts of damage, especially like, like you know, this is a mouth build. I don't use her anymore. I used her when I was low AR. Oh, well, still. <laughs> okay, Ayaka, level 80. Again, uh, you could probably... Actually, oh, whoa. Okay, definitely level this higher. Artifacts, four blizzard Strayer, that's good. Do you have enough crit damage and crit rate? Maybe. Is your goblet good? It's actually kind of mid. I will say this crit rate circlet is kind of copium because like there's no way you're on Mist Flitter with only 176 crit damage, right? Because without Mist Flitter, how much crit damage are you getting? Like just from your artifacts alone, you're getting 57 from artifacts. Your whole substats are giving you less than a circlet. So the only time I would go for crit rate circlet on Blizzard is if you have like too much crit damage already and need crit rate and don't have enough on your substats. So I definitely go for crit damage or attack percent over crit rate. I guess your Blizzard's unlucky, but just keep grinding. You'll, you'll get it. But hey, Caesar Gaika is broken, so I'm sure you're fine. A lot of my characters are mid yeah okay here's the thing when you have this many characters that are like giga invested you know c6 whatever you're probably gonna spread yourself really thin which is a number one like bad take like it's really easy to get lost in the sauce and have like what the fuck <laughs> As I was saying, before I got jump scared by that resin, you are spreading yourself a bit too thin, which is something I noticed in like all my account reviews. You can have 20 characters that are decent, but if you don't have four or eight or whatever, two DPSs that are really good that can carry you through the abyss, you might still be stuck on an earlier floor or you might clear slowly or whatever, right? So what I'm gonna do is try to make you teams or like to help you focus on certain characters. Now, for example, you wanna run Shao because you just got him, you just got him C6. Who can you use him with? Well, you have a C6 Yin. You can invest into her and then she'll deal good damage She'll heal you and she will buff your Shao significantly with her C4 and just other passives, right? So I would definitely level your Jean and invest into her. I will say though, for Verdescence, your typical go-to, but if you're running Jean with Shao, you don't need it because Shao's obviously isn't buffed by the set. Here are what your two teams are going to be. You're going to have a Shao team because Shao's a Giga Chad. Now, in certain abysses, you need certain elements. For this abyss, you don't. So you can run Shao in the first half very easily with uh, either Jean Double Geo or Shao Bennett Sucrose strongly. Given your C6 everything, I would probably definitely put Shao with Jean. So I do 
Shao Jin Zhong Li. Your last thought is like flexible. I would do Albedo if you have Albedo, but since you don't, there's a lot of things you can do. You can run like a generic support like Fischl. You can run a whale support because I'm sure you have some, but we'll see. I'll, I'll tell you what you could do. You can also run Bennett if your other team doesn't run it. What is your other team going to be? Good question. Uh, you have a C6 Ayaka, so it could be Freeze. You also have Raiden, so it could be a Raiden team. <laughs> you need Raiden Ayaka? <laughs> Dude, I feel like when you're C6, like, you can just run, like, random ass characters together, you know? I want to use Yolan. Okay, they told me they want to use Yolan. Yeah, I guess you do have a C6 Yolan. Yeah, I'd probably run double Hydro then. The, like, normie team would be this, but you could do... I mean, no, do Raiden. You have a C6 Raiden. Raiden Hyper Carry with a Yolan, 70 DPS. Very powerful. And Sync True. Boom. Then your last thought is a healer. And for first half, it's Flex. You could do, like, Bennett here or Bennett here. It's... Both are fine. If you're good enough to where you can survive off of Sync True's Rain Sword healing, Kazuo here, which you can get or just use Sucrose or Venti. Could actually work really well. Buff your team's damage. So yeah, there's a few options you can do. But yeah, we can, uh, I'll tell you how to build those characters. What is your Sing Chu on? Did we see? Sack Sword level 70. Anyways, attack circlet. Uh, this is definitely as a Jeff viewer. Attack goblet. Okay, what are you running? What? Whoa! Okay, first of all, you want to run Hydro Crit. Second of all, attack sands is better, especially with a Sack Sword, because you already have enough ER. Now, with that said, you're a C6 Sing Chu. You're running a double Hydro team with Raiden. You do not need a Sack Sword. Your ER amount is going to be a lot lower because you're running double Hydro and Raiden. So you could very easily run either Jade Cutter or Mist Flitter or even Haran, Gapon. Aku, Futsu, Skyward, like there's so you can run any offensive weapon. Since you have Gene on Jade, I would give Miss Flitter to Sing Chu. You could give like an R1 uh, Miss Flitter if you want and keep this on Aika. Uh, you could even give Haran. So we're just going to do this for now. It also matches them. I would run a Hydro Goblet for sure. Uh, whoa, what is, what the fuck? Okay, surely you're just using Aito over Sing Chu, which is fine. But for now, we're going to use Sing Chu. So definitely put this on him and then run a Crit Rate Circlet. And now look how all of a sudden your ratio actually... Okay, that's not that great. But it's a start. It's a better beginning. New beginning. A whole new world. Here's the actual advice I'd give you. Keep grinding Emblem. Most of your characters need Emblem. One, two, three, four. From the teams we made, three characters need it. So I'd keep grinding Emblem. Uh, Zhang Li, what is he on? Milith, good. Uh, Black Tassel is fine. You could go Favonius to help give your team energy. Uh, I would recommend that. But for now, Black Tassel is okay. This is good for now. Good start. You could also mix and match two pieces. I'm a big advocate of stat over set. But you have so many characters that need Emblem. It's much more efficient for you to just grind Emblem. Uh, at this point especially because uh as you will remember you have 2000 resin you can spend so you're guaranteed gonna get a good emblem set like at least maybe maybe not i spent 5000 resin on chow and got nothing and you can also spend your resin on talents because all of your talents are super low on like all the characters you use especially like Shao's e and your weapons are low level and some of your characters like yolan should be level 90 that could be something that you uh, work on a bit later or you know important to level For, on use last clips i bet i'm sorry dude they I'm doing this in the middle of the fucking account review. Cool, cool, you? Dude, how is Oscar watching the stream right now? I'm wearing the same shirt. This was an hour ago. This was an hour ago. Why is this? For the night, Valorant stream when? Dude, that's the problem. Like, because I want to stream with people, but no one fucking answers me. Because your sleep schedule is ass? Dude, I will literally mold, metamorphosize Transformers Among Us to fix if someone's like, yo, Zox, you want to play? Let's play. I like... Okay, we basically went through every character, right? Do we just try it now? We saw that, yes, you need to level some stuff. And yes, you need to farm Emblem. With good teams, you should prevail. Okay, good enough for now. Let's go. Like, we basically gave all your characters an acceptable ratio. And with the resin you have, you can get better. So, already a good start to the account. Focus on specific characters. And I'm going to show you how the teams work. So, uh, first team is this with a flex slot. And second team, we're going to do this with a flex slot. We're just going to put Bennett. I would probably put Kazo here when you get him. And then Bennett here. Or, like, I will just put a burst support. I'll just put Aika, whatever. Ah, uh, no, I won't. Do you have Fischl? Your Fischl's level one! Okay, you might want to level some of your, like, staple supports. That could fit, like, a lot of teams. All right, let's go. Oh, this is the first time I test C6 trial. This is actually before I C6 my own trial. Barbados! Barbados. Okay, wait, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're not fully optimal when you're like this whaled up for a uh, abyss floor. Obviously, everything I told you will increase your DPS a lot. Okay, you also might want a bit more ER. Like, especially if you don't have Albedo slash Fischl on your gene and on your Shao, because your gene's not getting your burst back. And then this seems pretty easy. You just Unga Boonga and everything's gonna die. I would swirl like Hydro Electro with Sucrose, but they're probably gonna die before. Yeah, they're literally dead. Doesn't <laughs> It doesn't matter. How much does your Raiden do right now? Not bad. Dude, 136 with no swirl and like barely anything. 
and your artifacts are pretty like mid the power of a whale okay i will say one thing from the quick testing needs a bit more er overall but for now you could also just put fab on your character so i would definitely go fab strong lee like black castle's fine but your shield's not gonna break realistically just run hp sands at least and then your gene could be on fab but doesn't really need to be like if you're on a other weapon it's fine however i noticed your gene also has like no er herself so fab could help her jade's better overall i'd probably just go er sands though pog chat is there anything else i feel like i've been on this count forever if you think it's better i can use skyward blade for gene so yeah like early game until your gene is high investment it will be more efficient to have an er weapon either skyward or fav because fav also gives energy to your shell so depending on who needs energy it could be more efficient early game until you can spam your burst on cooldown but like especially because you're also a c6 gene but even just in general the higher you go the higher your talents are the more investment you put in gene she starts doing a ton of damage but if you have jade cutter it will be just insane right so it will be the option i'd recommend but for now yeah you could use an er weapon tldr level weapons level talents focus on the teams i made you specialize don't just spread yourself too thin i tried to like mix your artifacts around to where you had the best ratios possible but you can make them better by farming emblem and whatever other domain you might need like for shao so yeah i hope i helped see you too